Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Jake and thank you for joining me again here on Exploit Academy. In this video, we're going to look at creating persistence on a target host using scheduled tasks. Let's check it out. All right, everybody. So we are inside of our virtual lab created in VMware here. I have two virtual machines open for this example, one being Kali Linux, which is, of course, our attacker box, the other being Windows 10 for our victim. Now, because this video is for persistence, I already went ahead and have a shell on this Windows 10 host to speed up the process. So for example, you can tell the shell is for this Windows 10 host. If I were to type in host name, you can see it comes up as Windows 10 PC. Same thing over here. If I were to go to this Windows 10 host and I type in host name, boom, you can see it's Windows 10 PC. Okay, so say you have a shell on a remote system. How do you maintain persistence to maintain access on that machine? What if it reboots, for example? You would normally lose your access to that machine because it cuts off the connection that you would normally have. So how do you maintain access in a situation like that? There's a variety of different methods. One is the scheduled task method, which is the one that we will cover in this video. Now, to preface this, you want to upload a reverse TCP backdoor to that machine so that you can point to something to create for that task. So for example, on this Windows 10 host, I do have a backdoor right here that I created in MSF Venom. You can use any kind of tool you want. It could be Hoax Shell, for example, but you just want to make sure that you have a backdoor created that will connect back to your Kali box already uploaded to the machine. So now that we have that out of the way, how do we use scheduled tasks to automatically, automatically persist on this machine? So you can do that by using this command. So we're gonna type in scheduled tasks slash create to create a task on the machine. Then you're gonna type in slash TN to give that task a name. So for this example, I'm just gonna call that task test. Now you're gonna type in TR to point to that back door. So this is task to run, and I'm just gonna point it to C backdoor.exe. And that will point to that backdoor that we have in that C directory. And then we are going to type in slash SC for the schedule. I'm just going to type in minute for my example. And then you could do slash MO for the frequency and minutes to run this task. So I'm just use one. So let's go ahead and examine this command real quick. So we have scheduled task slash create to create a task on the machine. We have slash TN for the name. I'm naming mine test. We have slash TR for the task to run. I am pointing to our backdoor.exe on the C directory. The schedule in which to run minute and then the frequency of minutes to run it every single minute. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this command. There we go. We have a success message saying that the task has been successfully created. Now, if we want to verify that the task has been created successfully and see when it will run next, we can type in scheduled tasks slash query to query that task give the name of the task by using tn and my task was called test so you can see here the next time it is scheduled to run is 3 13 pm on the target machine so you can see here it's going to run here in the next minute so i'm going to verify that our scheduled task works by go ahead and killing this connection and then i'm just going to type run and then we're going to wait for the task to run as you can see, it's only 3.12 on the target machine. Once it hits 3.13, we should get a connection back on our Kali box. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for that. Okay, so it just turned 3.13 and on the dot, I already got a shell started again on that remote machine. If I were to type in host name, as you can see, oh, let me drop into a shell first. If I type in host name, as you can see, we are Windows 10 PC. So that is how you create persistence and maintain access using scheduled tasks. All right, everybody. And that wraps up this video for this evening. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please drop a comment. Don't be a stranger. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time here on Export Academy.